Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to uh, the third installment of uh, King of Death Monster, The Watcher. Um, today we're going to go ahead and go over the painting of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the lanterns um, that will be, end up going inside of the uh, Watcher himself. Cat back in my boot real fast. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do um, for the for all of the uh, the lanterns is we are going to put a uh, a light base coat of Uriel yellow. Um, you don't actually have to use Uriel yellow. Uh, you can use you know whatever bright yellow you have available. Um, or you can use best sticker. I tried using best sticker, I think, and it didn't work. It came out more pink. Um, Averland is a little dark, um, but you could use that. Um, but I don't have an army painter. Um, I guess demonic yellow you could use. Um, we can try uh, one of them in that color as well. But I will say, uh, as far as things that I use and I don't have an army painter or Vallejo uh, right off the top of my head um, is the Lamenter's Yellow Glaze and the Blood Letter Glaze. Uh, I don't have an alternative for you. Um, you know, most of the time I, I let you guys know of the, the different types of paints and colors that you can use. Um, I mean, you can make your own glaze with the uh, Uriel Yellow just using um, probably 75% water and 25% paint, you know, doing a mixture that way. Um, but I prefer having the glazes, just it cuts out a lot of middleman time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll do a couple on camera and then I'll do the rest off. Um, go ahead and get a little bit of paint here on my brush of the Yurio Yellow. Off the side, so I'm not going over. And we'll go ahead and start with um, one of the bigger ones. Now, as you can probably tell, the um, the highlights that are here have not been uh, completed yet. So um, when we t when we last talked, we said that we were going to go ahead and do um, Balthasar Gold on um, these S's and everything. So instead of trying to go around that, um, you know, highlighting it and then trying to paint the um, the flame uh, that you know is going to be coming from the uh, the lantern, we're going to go ahead and paint the lantern first, and then go ahead and do the highlight uh, afterwards with the uh, Balthazar gold on all these uh, ornate you know, pieces here. I'll do this tiny one that's up here. And make sure when you're doing the yellow, um, you go ahead and cover the whole thing with a, uh, a decent coat. And it's okay if you end up getting some on uh, our warp lock bronze that we used, because uh, we can just go back over that with some more warp lock. Uh, it's not a problem. Well, I always try to do the dark coats first and then the light coats because then you can always cover easier the, um, you know, the, the dark or the, the light coat that's on the dark rather than vice versa. If you get some of that dark on the light, you know, you're going to sit there and try to cover it and cover it and may end up making a whole different color. Alright, so that one um, is pretty well completed. Uh, Turned up autofocus, so bear with me for a second. I'll try to focus back in here. So that one is looking like that right now, so it's straight yellow. And I'll go ahead and grab one of the uh, ones for the back. Uh, I think it's for the back, it's got a peg. So we'll go ahead and paint that yellow. And just right on top. Just, you know, boom, kind of deal. Make sure you 
guys can see. And you can probably see that, you know, it's kind of thick and watery, but that's what I want, because what's going to happen uh, is we're going to end up mixing it. Kind of. So that one's complete all the way around. Do, do, do. Try to get the focus back. Not sure when I go backwards it works. Let's go with the bigger one because then you guys can see a little bit easier. Um, let's see if I can go that close. There we go. That worked for you guys? Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and paint that in there. All right, so now uh, I'm just going to stick with these three that, that I painted so far for you guys. Um, I actually won't shut the camera off and do the rest um, just so I can continue the steps on these while these are kind of still uh, halfway wet. All right, so now what we're going to do is um, we are going to get an orange. Um, this is actually the only orange I have. Um, I don't know why I haven't bought a Citadel orange. Uh, but I have the lava orange from Army Painter, um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my palette because uh, you know Army Painter is nice, and they got the squeegee bottles. Although, see, I, I do like the, uh, the paint pots because I can just go right to it. All right, so we're gonna go back to the first one that we did, um, the larger one, and this is uh, sort of watered down. Um, orange right now um, so we're going to just kind of brush this in here right over top of the yellow now the thing is is I did it a little too much in that one spot and that's gonna be fine because I'm just gonna dry off my brush and take some of that out because I still want some of that yellow showing See, I, can, I kind of went a little too heavy there. All right, so now we got kind of an orangish yellowish glow. Uh, let's just switch hands and you guys can see the light. All right, so now I'm going to actually get some Mephiston Red. Um, you don't need Mephiston, obviously. You can use the, um, they have the Chaotic Red, but that's a dark red for Army Painter. I don't know what their name is for their uh, actual red. I think it's blood red or dragon dragon blood dragon red there we go so you can use dragon red um dragon red is super bright though so now i have the red um and it is uh i'd say pretty watered down as well so we're gonna go ahead and do um the bottom here like this and kind of go up into it in places um kind of like you know licks of a flame um, from the bottom up into um, up into the orange, but we're not going to go all the way up to the top. Uh, not yet, not with this. So that's that, right? So now it looks like there's a fire going on inside there. Uh, let's see. Get a little closer. Now, here comes the tricky part. Not really tricky. But here comes the fun part. We'll see. You know, depends on your idea of fun, I guess. All right, so we're gonna take some lead, uh, some Lamenter's yellow, some glaze. And if you notice, I'm trying to do this a little fast because I prefer to work these when they're still a little wet. It gives it a little, a uh, little more hue. So now I have um, some Lamenter's yellow on my brush. Um, now I'm gonna take it where the red just met and go up just a little bit into the yellowish orange mix. And while that is still wet, and I'm cleaning my brush off in between all of these steps, just so you know, it's off kind of off screen. I'm sorry, 
Um, all right, so that's the Lamenter's yellow. And make sure you move it away so you don't knock it over. Not that that's ever happened to me before. <laughs> that's why I have no Lamenter's yellow. And we're going to take the, uh, the blood letter and just go ahead and go in the bottom like so. So. And now we're going to go back to the Uriel yellow um, and get just, just enough so it's like a, I, I want to say wet dry brush if that makes any sense to you. Um, and just kind of go down from the top. Too much water. Alright, now I can do all these other ones while they're dry, but I just wanted to show you, let's see, that's kind of good. So, that's what it looks like. Um, let's see how close I can get, there you go. Oh, you got a flame going on in there. Um, and then after that, uh, remember what we said we were going to do. Actually, I'm going to put this right here so it dries out a little bit in my light. Uh, Balthazar Gold. I'll shake that up. Um, you don't have to use Balthazar Gold again. Um, you can use if you'd like. Uh, I know Citadel has, our Army War Painter has Greedy Gold. You can use that one. Um, you know, it's, it's up to you. I mean, it's your preference. I mean, you, heck, you can even use silver if you'd like. I mean, I'm not telling you what you have to have to do. Uh, I have gun metal right here if I wanted. Um, but I'm, I'm uh, kind of keeping theme with the uh, the bronze. I'm going to use the gold. It, it look, makes it a look like a highlight kind of deal going on there. Um, so, let's try it out. And, you know, I kind of lied. I mean, you don't need to be completely wet when, with the, the, the first yellow. Um, but those other steps that we got going on there, you definitely need. Um, so you're mixing it. So now we're going to go ahead and do the highlighting on that side. I'm going to have to keep my fingers down there. So I'm going to uh, just try to focus right I can do it from here. Why not, right? Make for good TV. You want to make sure you get your highlights. That um, way ended up painting over. I'm really glad I chose this one to show you guys because this one's big. When you guys end up getting to the other ones, you'll be like, why? Why did we wait for that? I'm not steady enough. I will say, if you're over 21, having a beer before you do this makes uh, a lot of difference. Um, but if you're under 21, um, stay away from drinking soda before you paint because the caffeine. That will make you jittery, even if you don't notice it. I'm actually going to switch brushes here to my, my triple zero brush. Um, yeah, even if you don't notice it, I mean, your hands uh, try to drink a lot of water before you end up painting, and then uh, one day and then see what happens. See if you end up painting better or not. It's the same when I drink coffee. I try not to paint right after I've drank a cup of coffee or something. Because, you know, all that can't be in coffee, and it keeps you, it keeps you jittery. So, that is that. 
there's one up there. You can see how it kind of looks like a highlight, uh, or just, you know, kind of where light is hitting uh, the, the bronze. It makes it look interesting with that Balthazar gold hitting it. And of course you can't see because my big fat thumb's in the way and the light's blocking it. So give me just a second and I will fix that. I see some warm uh, and I see where I need to hit with the warp block right here. Isn't that big of a deal? Because like I said, it's easier to go dark to or dark over light than it is light over dark. So I always to do your darkest um, areas first. This way, uh, when you end up having to go back over, you know, do touch-ups, um, you won't have to struggle as hard. So that is that, um, all the Balthazars on that one, uh, yeah, let's see if we can, give me just a second, I will zoom in for you, so there is your, see I need to, need to work the mouse with my right hand, to zoom in with my left and I can't do that, there, If you don't like that way, um, you know, you can try something else. You can put a little bit more yellow in, you know, in the bottom. Um, but I kind of like the way my flames always turn out. Um, I've always had good compliments on my fire effect um, or glows. And, I mean, if you want to, um, after after you have everything dry, you can put a light uh, gl uh, glaze layer of the yellow, uh, Lamenter's yellow over the top again and a light layer of the red uh, blood letter glaze over the top and that'll make it pop uh, again uh, but that is uh, pretty much how to do the lanterns for the watcher um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and then we'll come back and we'll go ahead and glue these in um, to where they're supposed to be um, and maybe do a, a little bit of a glow effect around the lanterns um, where they're hitting uh, or where the the lance uh, the light is coming from out of the watcher we'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen um so i had some issues with the, with the build uh while i was off camera um so i actually um went ahead and completed him uh, glued them all together, uh, glued everything on, um, and I'm really sorry, uh, I didn't go through most of the, uh, the paint that I used, um, but what I did use, uh, so you can see, um, this was my paint for the, uh, the fire, um, what I used, uh, I used this Liquitex, um, slow dry blending medium, and it kind of turns the, uh, the paints into a dry brush. Um, so I went ahead and used the, uh, the orange, uh, lava orange, the red, and the uh, yellow, and I mixed the yellow actually with a little bit of orange so it wasn't so bright. And um, basically I, you know, I dusted every single one of them, uh, let's put this on the light, uh, I dusted every single one of them, and then I actually, if you can kind of see, well oh, here on the back right now, I'm sorry, it's still, it's still wet, so I'm trying not to. Uh, you can kind of see how I did some shading where the, uh, the the lanterns are hitting, you know, the the cloak and everything. And I'm not quite sure about the flames, you know, what they're they're supposed to represent or anything. But he sits up there just fine. Uh, let's, oops, no, let's see. No, eventually I'll have to get a base for him. Um, but right now that's what he looks like, all painted. Uh, and you can see underneath as well um, the uh, what I did, you know, kind of with the the backside with the lanterns, you know, kind of the shading underneath there, and a little bit on this front. Um, I will say that I did have some issues with the lantern that goes on this side. Um, it doesn't go all the way in, 
the hole like it looks like it's supposed to um, and actually kind of just sits in there. So if you're trying to throw it in there, um, you know, push it all the way into the slot. It doesn't go in all the way to the slot. Um, it just kind of sits there, uh, you know. So this is what it looks like. I got to remove that. So I'm sure you can do that, but yep. Um, that is the watcher. Um, you know, he sits on a 30 millimeter base, uh, I think, and, you know, it's a flat base like everybody else. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, a custom base for him. I don't think I am. Um, I have a, I'm just going to have a black base for him and kind of put some fire on the base a little bit, like a glow effect from where the lanterns are underneath him. Um, but yeah, that was the build and paint tutorial. Uh, sorry, this paint tutorial was kind of short. But, you know, there wasn't really that much uh, going on with um, his paint job. I'll even show up a little closer. Uh, so there's the, the lanterns that we have. And you see, like, if I get closer, you see the glow effect. It kind of looks cool. It tilts it. It looks like the lanterns are glowing. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I know, you know, I feel bad about um, not completely doing this video um, fully. Uh, tutorialized, but the gluing of the, the pieces in there was um, a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be uh, while painting, like while having them uh, painted and everything. So uh, go ahead and leave me any comments that you might have. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you don't like it, go ahead and tell me what you didn't like about it. Most likely, the fact that I didn't go through a lot of these steps, which I apologize again. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this uh, helps you with your Kingdom Death Watcher miniature and um, get ready for the uh, Phoenix to finally uh, videos to start populating uh, as soon as I start finishing up my Blood Rage miniatures. So thanks for watching. Bye.